Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so let's do a video. This is a this is a hard one, <laughs> especially because the topic is endless. So I'm going to try to condense it as much as I can. So uh, I've seen that there's not too many, if any, I, I didn't see any uh, videos how to deal with a blown out uh, account. Okay the same thing with relationships remember they're intertwined okay so we're going to talk about it so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go no contact you're not going to trade you're not going to go back revenge trading you're not going to lose more money if you weren't successful up to this point well guess what you're not going to be successful you need time to improve yourself so that's the next thing you got to do simultaneously actually you have to improve yourself all right so that means you got to go out get a haircut right Start your diet, go to the gym, and don't try to be, uh, you know, Schwarzenegger and all these TikTok uh, idiots on steroids, right? Go get your fucking hormones checked. <laughs> Make sure your uh, testosterone is good, right? Or whatever it is, the, you know. Uh, make sure you're healthy, okay? Go out, buy some new clothes, get a little adventurous, get some new styles, okay? And start learning to live differently. Because uh, 24 hours ago, your life was this way, and suddenly it's this way. So it's a, is that, what? <laughs> right? And it, it, it was something that occurred beyond your control. That will freak anybody out. I don't care who you are, how experienced you are, it will freak you the fuck out. Because you, you, you just, like, what the fuck just happened? Okay? The same thing with a blown an account. Nobody believes that an account is blown out. All right, that, that there, there's always that hope. Same thing in relationship. You kind of know things are not going well. Same thing with a blown out account, right? You kind of see that your account is dwindling away. Um, but don't go, don't go back revenge trading. Now, um, there, there's some caveats to that, and I'll talk about them later in the video. All right, so go out, start improving yourself. Um, uh, vitally important. Open up several simulated trading accounts and start to implement different strategies, different ways of uh, of trading. See what best works for you. However, I want you to be very careful in this because I want you to understand where the market is. If the market is going up, you may find yourself consistently right. And then you said, okay, I've been consistently right for a year, whatever it is. Uh, now I'm going to start to deploy capital or, or maybe three months or six months or whatever. Uh, I'm going to start deploying capital back into the market. No, don't do that. Why? Because what may be working for you now in a bull market may not be working in a bear market or a sideways market. You need to see all three markets and be successful in all three markets in order for you to even think about putting money back into the stock in terms of trading and investing okay now if you have a 401k that's a different story um buy and hold long term whatever that that's, that's a different story but if you want to do more than that is what i'm talking about okay so simulated accounts try different styles try to learn something different okay try to implement different strategies see what best works for you and develop your own style you can obviously come down to patreon.com slash real macro and as a mentor i can help you help guide you in the direction uh, uh of developing a new style but you got to be able to learn <laughs> how to read a plain chart right just price and that's it you have to learn how to understand macroeconomics okay and then you contrast the two you find the, the key areas then you're saying okay i want to enter this key area i want to start managing the trade from here and and go on from that okay um so uh same thing in a um, in a relationship okay start dating different people don't don't get all fucking desperate and fall for the first one you know that you you come across and give you a little bit of uh attention and uh you know you kind of need that attention right uh take your mind off of it and whatever don't don't get crazy all right. Uh, the other thing I would say uh, when 
when you are uh, improving yourself, you have to go back in time and you have to kind of self-reflect, see what you did wrong. And you have to be honest with yourself. You got to take responsibility, okay? And you have to be accountable for what you did, all right? Um, and, and then you want to improve on, the, on those things, right? Whether it be a relationship or, or the markets, all right? Now, uh, it's important not to go overboard. There are some personalities, some people who will find fault in themselves in everything and blame themselves for everything. You don't want to do that. That's a big fucking no-no. Okay? You're, everybody makes mistakes in relationships that, that those are not the kind of mistakes that somebody's going to leave you for. Okay? Um, you, you're looking for the big meat and potato things that you did wrong. Okay? Um, if you go down the other path and you're blaming yourself and then you put yourself back in some desperate situation and you're the victim, uh, man, you're done. You're gun shy. Uh, that would be the equivalent in trading that you start setting stop losses. Like, okay, I'm going to set a stop loss of one and a half percent. Okay, go up. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, okay, let me put another one here. Ah, oh, damn. I'm, I'm not good at this. Okay, that's that's a, that's a disaster. You will die of a thousand paper cuts. Okay, so you don't want to do that. I don't want you to get gun shy. I want you to be smart. I want you to be methodical. I want you to be honest. Take responsibility. Look at the big meat, meat and potato things, um, and then go out and work on them. Okay. Now, you got to change yourself, and that's a good thing. You're improving yourself. You're taking lemons and making lemonade, right? You're improving yourself out of, out of what just happened to you. Um, you know, everybody's going to blow out accounts when they're new. When you're young and you're new, you can blow out accounts. Uh, the nice thing is usually those accounts are small, uh, and it's something that can be absorbed over the course of time. That's okay. However, um, if you keep doing it and with larger amounts and you're older, um, you're not going to be able to recover that shit. Th there's a cutoff point. It's kind of like aging out, if you want to think of it like that. Okay, you age out, meaning that you lost so many, so much money trying to do it the wrong way uh, without going back, reflecting, improving, um, that no matter how good you do, you'll never be able to recover that money. You never want to get to that point, ever, ever, okay? Uh, so be very, very, very cautious um, in how you deploy capital. And that's why I'm telling you, go out and get simulated accounts, okay? Love the game, not the profits. If you love the game and you learn and you become consistent in what you are doing, you may have bad trades, and that's okay. That's that's the cost of doing business, okay? That's okay. But you, you, you have to not lose money, and you have to make money over the course of time. The, 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 the goal is not to be Buffett, okay? That's, that's unrealistic. Uh, you may become Buffett. I don't know. Maybe. But that's unrealistic. If you can match the market or even outpace the market, you're a fucking legend. You are the man, the woman. You're the best of the best. Okay? Um, uh, so, remember that. Okay? Now, for the ca caveat. If after a period of time, you went out, you got your hair cut, you lost your weight, you started to, you know, improve yourself mentally, um, physically, okay, uh, you're more productive, you've invested in yourself, you're, you're back out, living your life, right, happy, uh, you may go back and try to figure out what happened for closure. Because everybody needs closure, right? You may not get it. That's okay. Not getting it is getting it. Well, what does that mean? That uh, if, she, you know, remember, this person was conniving, right? She, I'm going to say she because 80% of the divorces occur from women, 20% from men, right? So, or 70, whatever it is. So, she was planning it. You didn't know it. <laughs> she was planning it. She was implementing it. I'm 
You probably had some side piece all lined up, ready to go, okay? Because they're selfish. That's the, these people that do that, they're selfish, okay? Um, so you need to be in a very mature state of mind, happy place of mind, and be ready to hear a lot of bullshit. And it may be painful. Don't let it. You don't give a shit. You're not calling her to get her back, okay? You're getting... You're getting closure, and you're trying to figure out if there's any pieces of nugget of information she can give you that you did wrong, that you were not aware of, that you can improve on, okay? Um, again, if you're a legend and you're, you know, got your shit together, you, you're a different person, you're an improved person, you see things clearer now, you can do that, okay? Now, she may have left uh, for a, to make a power move, right? that, oh, please come back, and da 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 and all that bullshit, okay? If you, if you would have taken her back, she's got you by the balls. Not a good position to be in. Um, sometimes people do make mistakes, right? They, they leave, they do it, and they're like, you know, fuck, what did I do? You know, you, you'll be able to tell if, that, if it's sincere or not, but even so, if she comes back, now that she did that and got your attention... She may use that again in the future. However, if you find another person, <laughs> the next person might do it too. So, you know, the devil you know is probably better than the devil you don't know, but these things do happen quite often, okay? Uh, I think, what is it, 56% of uh, marriages end in divorce, and the other 20% is people that just stick around for the kids and they don't want to lose half their shit or whatever, something like that. Right, so, so, so the the chances of you getting fucked are very, very, very high, okay, in your lifetime. Even if you're happy right now and you're thinking you're like, oh man, thank God I have Betty or whatever, you know, or Bob, you know, yeah, okay, wait a week, and then we'll talk, <laughs> because most of the times nobody can see it coming, okay. Same thing with blown out accounts; nobody can see it coming until it's blown out. So if and when that does happen or it has happened, this is the way you deal with it. No contact, improve yourself, okay, um, and, and, and just don't go down the path of everything is your fault and don't go the other path because there's, there's these other people on uh, YouTube when, when I was looking at this, this stuff up. Man, these, these guys are woman haters. Whew. Oh, if she doesn't have a heart-burning desire for you, then you shouldn't be with her. And I'm like, what the fuck? Shit, I went out with some really hot girls in my life, sexy as all hell. I didn't have a heart burning desire every single day for her. You know, it was she was doing shit that turned me off. You know, but hey, that that's normal. But you know, the way these guys talk, it's like, ugh, <laughs> you don't want to be that guy. Uh, and and unfortunately, you know, people fall for that stuff. Don't. That is a big no-no. That's the equivalent of some guy saying, come and trade crypto. I got 3,429% uh, gains from uh, one day trade yesterday, and I'm all profits. It's the same shit. Don't listen to that. Same thing for women, right? Don't be listening to this, This oh, I'm an independent woman, and men suck, and don't, don't go down that route. It's not what you want to do, believe me, okay? Be mature. Be smart. Prove yourself. Go no contact, and if you are in a good, strong position and you need some closure, right, go back, have a civil conversation, see if you can extract some, you know, pieces of information that you may not be uh, aware of, being like, oh, you know what, yeah, she's kind of right on that one, right, improve that. Uh, so the next relationship that you go into, you know exactly what you want, um, and, and you know exactly what not to do. Okay, because that's how you prevent blown out relationships and blown out accounts. Okay, you do the little things right before it happens, not after. Or not, you know what I mean? It, the way you do it is you do it right consistently every day uh, over a long period of time. And that's, that's gold right there. If you if you can't do the simple things right, then y y you're asking for a disaster. Okay, so go back watch these videos here. Most of the stuff is simple, but simple is hard.
Simple is hard. Okay. Uh, don't be the don't be this guy. Okay. Well, as for me, I like the stock. Well, fuck. I, I like many stocks. They don't make me money though. Unfortunately. Uh, same thing with relationships. I, I like a lot of people, but I'm not in a relationship with those people, <laughs> right? Um, for good reason. So. Uh, I hope this kind of made sense. Uh, I kept it under 15 minutes, which I'm very, very extremely proud because I can go on forever with this shit. Um, anything else that I want to talk about? Uh, nah, that's about it. Um, you know, it happens to all of us. Okay. Uh, the, the key is that you learn uh, ahead of time how to avoid these things because they're avoidable if you do your part right okay if you do your part right and she leaves well guess what i can almost guarantee you she will become an alpha widow what does that mean alpha widow means that she had some alpha guy that really took care of her and he was great to her and she left him because the green the grass is green on the other side, but she figures out that <laughs> the grass was fake, <laughs> right? Um, and no matter how many guys she goes to after that, she'll those guys will never compare to you. That's an alpha widow. She's widowed uh, from an alpha guy. So uh, be that guy or gal um, to the best of your ability, but it takes... You know, some knowledge, some experience, uh, some improvement on your part. Uh, it's not that hard, right? You just got to know how to behave properly. All right, if you're a man, be a leader, be a gentleman, do the small things. There's a, 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 um, there's a book out there about something about habits, and if you improve 1% over the course of time, you know, uh, it, it's very small, very minute, but over the the course of time has huge big outcomes so try to be that alpha guy that you know she's going to become a alpha widow i think that's the best way to, to kind of think about it uh, same thing with markets right do the small things consistently right don't implement uh, capital until you've seen all kinds of markets uh, and then when you're consistent then you can deploy capital otherwise Leave your money in your 401k, you know, go get some fund that expires 20, 80, whatever, and that's it. <laughs> that's all you can do. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll make another video. Uh, I appreciate all your support. Mwah. Have a good night. Bye-bye.